Hi, this is Amy, and today I thought I would start a series. This was really popular at one of our recent meetings, and I thought you might like it too. So it's going to be a series, and it's called Smarter Gmail. And <clears throat> the first thing that we're going to have to talk about in this series is Inbox Zero. Now, I don't claim to be any kind of an Inbox Zero guru, but I realized when I started to learn about Inbox Zero that if you don't understand Inbox Zero, it's hard to understand Gmail. Like this makes everything about Gmail make sense. So here's all I think you need to know about it or all you need to know for this training. And that's that you can clear your inbox in less than 20 minutes or at least that's how the theory goes. These are the three things you might want to do. You might want to reply to an email if it takes less than five minutes. You might want to archive it. That's I know whatever the content of this email is now and I'm finished and so I'm going to send it to the archive or you might want to turn it into a task. Um, I heard it explained like this. If you work through email like it's a task list, then you're letting someone else dictate your work. You're not really prioritizing. So use your task list through Gmail to truly prioritize. So the first thing that I want to show you today in this short training is inbox types. And I want you to really think about using a different inbox type if you are still using classic. So with the classic inbox type, this is newest emails first. You just see everything in a list and you don't really have the ability to section things off so that you can really see what's in your inbox. So I would encourage you to take a look at priority inbox and I'm going to show you how to customize this so you can really make it work for you exactly how you want it to work. So in my priority inbox for my work email, I have three sections, starred, important, and everything else. So if you want to take an email that's not been marked important and make it important, then you can mark the important tab on there and when the inbox refreshes, then you'll see that move to the important section. If you receive something that you don't think is important and you want to move it away then you can unmark the important tab and refresh your inbox and it will move but you can also customize all of these settings um, so this is how you do that you go into your settings and then you're gonna go into the inbox tab right up here at the top so here are all of our settings mine set on priority inbox here's important and unread and here are the options so I'm not going to tell you how to set this up I'm going to tell you how mine is set up and then hopefully that will give you the information you need to make yours look exactly how you want so you can see I've got a starred section here when I go back over to general and I look at my stars I've got every single thing in use and I'm going to show you why even though I don't really use them very faithfully I want you to know how in case you want to. For me, a star means, hey, don't forget about this. Um, I'm going to be adding this rubric for project design to a staff development I'm working on right now. So I want to keep that kind of in the forefront of my mind. So let's say I want this to be up there also. I can hit it once. It has one star. Twice it turns orange because I have all those different stars set in my general settings. So that's why those are important to me. So when I fresh refresh my inbox again, it's going to appear up there at the top. And now I've got two different starred objects up there at the top. So today we learned about inbox zero. That's the theory that if I can deal with this in five minutes, like this invitation right here, I'll be able to deal with really fast. Then I'm going to deal with it and I'm going to archive it and that's going to be off my plate. If not, I'm going to turn it into a task. I'll show you another day where the task list is um, and how to work with task in Google. Um, but hopefully today I convinced you to at least give a try to Priority Inbox and start cleaning up that madness that is your inbox. Hope that helps. Thanks. Have a great day.